सभी को नमस्ते वेलकम सो वी आर डूइंग एक्सरसाइज वन ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ एंड वी आर ऑन स्टेप फाइव सो इफ यू जस्ट रिकैप द स्टेप्स क्विकली इन स्टेप वन वी वर ऑब्जर्विंग द इमेजिनेशन पर्टिकुलरली द फीलिंग एट द बेस ऑफ द इमेजिनेशन in step 2 we asked if the feeling that we have at any moment whether it is naturally acceptable to us or not whether we want to continue with that feeling or not in step 3 we were asking the question are we comfortable with this feeling or are we not comfortable with this feeling in step 4 we ask the question who is deciding this feeling that i am having at any moment is it another human being outside with whom i am interacting is it the situation outside or is it me myself and we were able to see that i am 100% responsible i am the one who is deciding the feeling that i am having at any moment so when we came to this conclusion that i am deciding the feeling then in step 5 we were trying to see the basis of that decision that we took about the feeling that we have at any moment what is the basis on which i decide my feeling so there are two possibilities one is that i take the decision for the feeling based on right understanding an understanding of everything that i am related to everything that i live with so myself as a human being with my body as a part of the family as a part of the society as a part of nature and existence i need to understand all of this when i do this then i have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me and i am calm i am comfortable within i am in harmony the other possibility is that when i lack the right understanding i take a decision for my feeling based on something from outside other than that glimpse of understanding that i have in the form of natural acceptance so i base my feeling with some pre conditioning from outside or some sensation from outside when i do that some of the pre conditionings that i have may be in line with right understanding in which case i have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me and i am calm i am comfortable on the other hand there may also be many preconditionings which are not in line with right understanding there when i decide on the basis of the preconditioning then i am going to be having a feeling that is not naturally acceptable because that preconditioning was not in line with right understanding and i will be in discomfort i will be uncomfortable i will be unhappy i'll be in contradiction so both possibilities are there for us if we choose 
or if we decide the feeling based on the right understanding, then that possibility is there of having the feeling that is naturally acceptable to us at all times. But if we choose or if we decide the feeling based on preconditionings, then it is uncertain. Sometimes we may be happy when we have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to us. At other times, we may be unhappy when the feeling is not naturally acceptable to us. So it is indefinite what we will have, what we will be feeling, whether we will be happy or unhappy. And since we want to be happy at all moments, every moment, it becomes very clear that it is necessary for us not only to observe the feeling every moment, but also to decide the feeling on the basis of right understanding. So it becomes clear that there is a need for me to have the right understanding. There is a need for me to decide my feeling on the basis of right understanding. Because when I can do this, then I will always have a feeling that is naturally acceptable. And I can be in a state of harmony and happiness every moment with that right feeling. And this is regardless of what the situation is outside, regardless of whether the other is misbehaving or whether the situation outside is not to my liking, whatever may be the condition. So there is definitely a need for having this right understanding of all that I am related to. Everything, to the whole nature, the existence, everything. Yeah, see, ultimately we have to see that we have a relationship to all. Whether we accept it or not, whether we, the relationship is there. So similarly, when we have, say, you know, in a marriage, the purpose of the marriage is so that we can be a help to each other. Because ultimately, our purpose is to have the right understanding. That is the purpose of the other individual also. If we can see this, then we will try to help our partner and ourselves to move towards that purpose. But when we are not able to see this, and there may be differences in opinions, there may be differences in the thinking process, then we get stuck with that and we see that as, or we take it personally and we tend to get hurt. We tend to, um, you know, one person might be getting hurt, another person might be more aggressive, but end of the day, both are uncomfortable, both are unhappy. So to be able to see that this is not a result of the other person. The other person is merely just sort of throwing light on our own incompetence. So the problem is not the other person. The problem is my own incompetence. If I can see that, then I will see that whether that person is there or not there. If my incompetence has not been improved, if I don't become competent, if I don't start working for right understanding, then this same issue can happen with anybody else also, isn't it? Which is what you described. That mm -hmm. after the separation, she is finding she is getting hurt by other people. So the problem is not in the person. The problem was not in the husband or the people at the office or other people outside. The problem is my own interpretation of what the other is saying. 
and because i don't have clarity about you know i don't have the right understanding i don't have clarity about the relationship that already exists i keep working with my own preconditionings not realizing that the other also has so many preconditionings and maybe working with those preconditionings so it looks like we are two very different people and we are not able to see eye to eye or we are not able to see um you know each other's thoughts opinions as just differences in thoughts and opinions that doesn't undermine the relationship underneath that why is that i am getting focused immediately to the faults errors mistakes not that it i wouldn't call it wrong i would say that you know it is good if we are able to note you know that there are some some things that may be important to see and to correct and that is what this whole um you know the thought process can be used for mm mm but if we are not using it for that and correcting it supposing we don't have clarity about what is right mm mm then we focus on what is wrong and keep getting unhappy about it so there what you can do is to focus on what is right and try to correct it mm mm isn't it Mm-mm. similarly within ourselves if we don't have the right understanding if we don't have clarity about what is right Mm-mm. and we are going with some preconditioning now the higher activities within us we have not awakened to we are not seeking mm. guidance from the natural acceptance Mm-mm. and we have some faint idea that this may be not correct then we keep getting unhappy about it we keep complaining about it we keep focusing only on that somewhere we want to do the right thing somewhere we mm. want things to be in order so even though i don't have the right understanding i do mm. have the glimpse of that in the form of the natural acceptance let me keep referring to the natural acceptance mm-hmm. then i'll be able to find a solution where i can help the other and at the same time i can be in harmony so you can see in this slide you know the lower part this is where we are working with the imagination we are just going by the imagination but the higher activities we have not awakened to so you can say the b1 block is empty or it's um, clouded shrouded we can't really see it so then in that case our desire our feeling is decided largely on the basis of preconditioning and sensation so of course this glimpse of the natural acceptance is there and if we refer to it we can also have more and more of our desires our feelings based on natural acceptance but to begin with largely we are doing things on the basis of or we are having the feeling on the basis of preconditioning and sensation so this unguided feeling is leading to thoughts in that direction expectations in that direction and ultimately behavior also in that direction but if you come to the upper um diagram as we keep referring to the natural acceptance more and more of our feelings at more and more moments can be on the basis of our natural acceptance if we are asking that question if we are contemplating on it and as we keep doing this we become aware of the higher activities within us how it works is that all that confusion 
in the P2 block, all that contradiction, all that irritation, that starts settling down when we have our feeling in line with the natural acceptance. As we keep doing this and as we keep contemplating on things, slowly because that disturbance in the B2 block settles down, we start becoming aware of these higher activities which are already there within us. We don't have to get them from anywhere. They are already there, but they are sort of clouded because we can't see beyond our contradictions. Now, somewhere you are disturbed. You are uncomfortable. But at the same time, we are not focusing on the natural acceptance. We are not referring to it. Then we are in trouble. Because we are unhappy. We think the outside is responsible for our unhappiness. But at the same time, we don't see any solution inside either. So we, it is a state which is um, very uncomfortable, isn't it? But as we keep focusing on the natural acceptance, we are able to see that there is some glimpse of what is right. And what we will notice is that this feeling which is decided on the basis of the natural acceptance, what is naturally acceptable to us is the feeling of relationship, the feeling of harmony, and the feeling of coexistence. So anything that is in line with this, we are comfortable. Anything not in line with relationship, harmony, coexistence, we are uncomfortable. So the whole purpose of the exercise is to try to awaken ourselves to these higher activities and ultimately to awaken to the activities and to be, you know, in that or uh, to, to be looking down from that state, from that point the point of realization, because from there, one can see very clearly that all our assumptions, all that we have accepted, is it really in line with the right understanding or is it something otherwise? Because if it is something otherwise, it is bound to make us uncomfortable, unhappy. Yes, so, um, if there are no further questions, what we'll do is we'll do our 10 minute observation here. Observe the feelings within and observe whether they are in line with the B1 block, with the right understanding, with feelings of relationship, harmony and coexistence, or if they are otherwise. Okay, good. We have been observing for about 10 minutes now and we can take your sharings. Also, before we do that, there are a couple of questions in the chat so we can address them. Is saying, Madam, if the student is having a lot of reconditioning and lack of competence, then he or she may not understand what we say. Yeah, that is possible that the person that we are talking to or the person we are trying to help has many preconditionings and therefore is lacking competence. So there also we can see that we need to, we may need to make more effort with the right feeling and try to help the other person develop the competence. Of course, that may take time. So we can continue to make the effort to help the other person develop the competence with the right feeling with that awareness that each person will take their own time to develop the competence. And we may not be able to rush it, but we can certainly help in the process. So we will not become unhappy if they are not able to see it at this point. 
Um, there was another uh, question about um, somebody who was having a problem with their brother and then Sureshti tried to um, help, point out the problem. And this person didn't accept her lack of competency and misunderstood and got disturbed. And we, in trying to help the other, got disturbed. So certainly we can see not only is there lack of competence on the part of the people that we are trying to help, there is also lack of competence in me. So in order to be helped, to be a help to another person, first and foremost, I need to develop my own competence. So if I can see that, you know, if I am getting disturbed, that is a lack of my own competence. Then I will make more effort to work on improving my own competence so that then I can be, I can help the other more effectively. When it is lack of competence, it is very clear that there is no need to become unhappy about it. We can just work on our own competence. Work on our own competence how? Same way, what we are doing in this exercise. Seeing our feeling at every moment. Working with the natural acceptance seeing what is right, what, what is the feeling I should be having. And if it is not in line, bringing it in line. And continue to work with this at every moment. And as we keep doing that, our competence will also grow and we can be a bigger help to the person that we are trying to help. right understanding or ability to work as per natural acceptance is a very, very long process and I think cannot be taught to others. Only we can indicate towards it. If we start focusing on others' behavior sooner, we start feeling like foolish as others don't want to come out of their zone of comfort and take undue advantage. Yeah, it will. we go through this phase of, you know, um, being uncomfortable because somewhere we don't have the right feeling. Again, lack of competence. So if we focus on our competence, if we focus on our feeling, bringing it in line with our natural acceptance, then we'll be able to see that regardless of the other's behavior, I don't become uncomfortable. I can be in harmony within myself regardless of how the other is behaving. And I will also have the clarity on how to, you know, what right now our fear is that the other will take advantage. So we will certainly take that into consideration. We will certainly see that the other is also lacking competence. We will make effort for the other to develop the competence, but at the same time, we will take precautions also so that we are not taken advantage of. That clarity we can have once we develop our own competence. So we will find ways of, um, you know, uh, making sure that that doesn't happen. And at the same time, we will have the right feeling towards the other person. Uh, thank you, Didi. Uh, yes, uh, I understand and uh, uh, able to appreciate what you said. Yes. Uh, but uh, uh, sometimes, Didi, what happens is uh, like uh, uh, when you do not react uh, like the way you used to react earlier, then the other persons start thinking that uh, you are like agreeing with them. 
even if they are not doing the correct thing. So I think the signal uh, is also not going correctly to them that you do not appreciate it because all the time you just cannot speak on each and every behavior of others. So when we start like not uh, reacting or not uh, uh, trying to comment upon each and every behavior, the others may continue on their path, whatever they are doing and just being in their comfort zone because according to preconditioning, it is easy. Yeah. And he, yeah. Yes. Today. Yeah. So here also, if we see not reacting doesn't mean not, you know, doesn't mean that we are accepting everything that the other person is doing. See, not reacting just means I am not getting disturbed within. With that feeling of relationship, I can certainly point out to the other that here, you know, you can make some improvement here. This is lacking. Certainly, I will do that to help the other, you know, make those corrections. But I will do it with a feeling of relationship without getting disturbed within. So I will respond to the situation. After all, I want them to understand. I want them to improve. I want them to have the right understanding. So my ultimate aim is for them also to have the right understanding. And I will also be working on my own understanding. So with that, I will try to, you know, be, uh, you know, if I am able to see this feeling of, if I am able to see the relationship with the other person, I will work towards helping the other with the feeling of relationship. A lot of times what happens is when we uh, are not clear about that feeling of relationship, we either have opposition and we react or we don't do anything. Certainly, if we don't do anything and we don't try to help the other, uh, you know, correct that mistake, then the mistake will keep happening. And the other may never be able to correct it unless somebody points it out or unless that person has the clarity that it needs to be corrected. But we can certainly help the other with that feeling of relationship. And we can point out, make effort to help change the other also. Yeah, this is what we're saying. But we can see, you know, uh, ultimately we'll have to try to uh, at least try it for ourselves and see. And then you can share with the others how it goes. Work on this today. And tomorrow we will uh, take your observations regarding seeing our feeling, seeing whether our feeling is in line with relationship, in line with harmony, in line with coexistence, or it is otherwise.